So now I'm going to just pause my renderer by going and switching back to Houdini GL. And let's just jump back up to the stage network and create our render settings. I'm going to hit tab and type Karma render settings. And wire that in here. And here you're going to be able to see um, all the output settings for, you know, where our picture is going to be rendered to. And here we can also choose to render using XPU. This XPU will use the power of your GPU as well as your CPU. I'm just not doing it right now because I'm recording and, um, it's just, uh, I'm having a hard time with performance on my computer while recording and doing rendering lessons. Um, but if we switch that into XPU engine mode and try to render, click Karma, you can see that it is resolving my image much faster. It's super nice, actually. <laughs> I'm just going to switch this back to the CPU engine. And then I'm going to turn my uh, Houdini GL off. So let's just save out an image of what we have right now. Um, there's a number of ways that we could do it. What we could do is right here, set our render settings and then throw down a render wrap. So a USD wrap. So I'm going to type in wrap here and we're going to uh, check this USD render wrap and wire that in below. And then um, here where we're picking our render settings, we can just grab the render settings from this node um, and put them in here. So we can find our render settings over here in our scene graph. We just spin down render this render uh, menu thing right here and select our render settings and drag it into render settings here. Uh, we can now render this to disk. So if we go back to Karma render settings, you can see that it's rendering into a directory next to dollar sign hip. Dollar sign hip just says wherever this project is located, create a folder underneath it called render. And then we're going to re render a file that is named after the name of our file and the name of the node that we're rendering, which is render settings, and dollar sign $f4, which is the frame number, dot .exr is the image format. Instead of all these different tokens, we're going to just name this couch render, couch underscore render dot png. And that should render a png image into uh, that folder for us. So I'm going to go back down here um, to our render wrap. It's saying render current frame, and I'm just going to click render disk, and I'll be back when that's done. All right, and that recording is finished. So if I bring my um, folder over here where I've got my project files, I can uh, jump into this render folder that's been created and see here that I've got this nice couch, couch render uh, image that I have created here. So that is how you can do your, uh, your first rendering in uh, Houdini and Karma. Um, I know it's not the most glamorous looking render ever, ever but um, for the sake of simplicity, I wanted to kind of stick away from using actual texture materials and anything like that. And just kind of give you a, an overview of how we can get sort of the basics of rendering going here with some basic materials, basic lights, basic objects, stuff like that. So yeah, I hope that you thought that was fun and uh, thanks for watching.